Hi crocheters of the world! In this tutorial I want to show you how to create a beautiful scarf made with the fillet uh, crochet and as you can see it's really the fillet crochet and some um, chain um, cord um, that we will put, we will wave actually into our fillet okay now for the scarf I made a scarf and it's not ready because I want to show you how to finish it and a headband so for the scarf this is my headband with the same uh, stitch the fillet crochet and the um, chain cord that I wave waved in. So um, for the scarf I used, I began with 21 stitches plus 4. For the headband I began with 14 stitches plus 4. So my scarf measure in width um, yes it's here 14 no oh, actually it's not 14 is 12 centimeters and of course the length you you can go on and work how many how how long you want your scarf it's uh, I put 88 rows and I work it half with one color and half with another color okay now I just wanted to show you how to work the fillet I'm sure you know but just to be sure that all all of you can make the scarf I will show you briefly so I will begin with 21 stitches uh, chains 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 plus I said 4 so just keep your finger here into your last chain on your last chain and go on and work 4 more chains 3 4 okay now we have to go uh, go and count from the chain last chain under the hook one two three four five six and seven so from the hook seven chains one two three four five six seven and yarn over into the seventh chain insert your hook and work your first double crochet so fillet crochet it's all double crochet chain one skip one chain and into the next work one double crochet so this is the fillet so chain one skip one chain into the next work one double crochet chain one skip one chain into the next work one double crochet and we go on like this until the end of this our first round row my problem round row I don't know why but it's okay okay and at the end we will chain four to turn our work at the end of this row and of every row that we will work for our scarf or for anything else that you want to work with the fillet crochet okay so chain four three four this means chain three the first three chains stands for our first double crochet and the fourth chain stands for our chain one space first chain one space so turn and work into the double crochet one double crochet 
and go on with chain one, skip one chain, work into the double crochet, one double crochet, chain one into the double crochet, one double crochet, chain one into the double crochet, one double crochet, and that's it. So you will go on like this for the length that you want for your scarf. I am working with a 4.5 millimeters hook and a medium waist 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 uh, yarn so you can just oops you can just use any kind of yarn so as I said before I work it with two colors so I work 44 rows in one color and another 44 uh, rows in um, the second color contrasting color I don't know okay uh, and that's it so you will go on and will work your scarf when you completed the length of your scarf you have to put to wave actually these chain cords I think yes because I have here one it's made of chains Okay, so now for my scarf, I know because I just made my first chain cord, so I know that I I need 182 chains to create my chain cord to wave it into my scarf. All so uh, I work in length, not in width. So I need 182. But when you are at the first one, you just have to work a long chain and let it like this on the hook. Because you don't know, you are not sure that it's okay, it's long enough or not. Then at the other end, you will need a safety pin that you will I have here a large safety pin that you will insert into the last chain or the first work actually worked and now what you have to do is to go on and work wave the first chain cord and you will wave it like this, insert it from the upper part to the back side and go on and wave it all along your scarf like this and as I said before you don't know the length that you need, so the number of of the so I will just pull all the chain that I have here okay, oops okay so now I'm ready to go on it must be really loose so wave it loose not tight okay go on into every space that you have Because it's like waving actually. <clears throat> but it's really really nice. It's easy but nice. Okay. Now I finished with my half scarf. I know because I go into the next color, the second color of my scarf so 
my second my half my second half of my scarf and you just have to go on and work wave all the cord that you have and maybe it will be not long enough or longer than what you need okay so mine must be okay because it seems to be longer but it's not I will show you so I will just put it here at the end I will let a little bit this this and one end we can at one end we can join with the scarf so insert the hook into the this last chain and into the chain in between the two double crochets of the scarf and with the tail that we have here so leave a long tail insert the hook and make a chain one and here we are okay now I will just go like this with my okay and now it's okay but as I said before maybe it's not long enough or it's longer than you what you need and if it is longer you just have to unchain what is more if it is uh, smaller you just have to chain again but you have to count all the chains because at the end you will know the number of chains that you need for the rest of your cords now I can cut the yarn and I will do the same thing into the chain here in between the two double crochets insert your hook and pull the red tail here through the chain and the loop on the hook and make a chain one and here we are so it's that sim simple it's that easy to make it now I have another one and I just want to show you the same thing I will insert the hook into the chain at the end one end of my cord and now if I want this kind of can you see this kind of design for my scarf then you have to pay attention of one thing if here we insert it like this from the upper part to the back side like this here we'll go from the back side to the right side like this and we will go on this okay now I will I want to see yes yes it's okay we are like this not under but uh, on this uh, first chain here space so it's okay you can see I have one on one under okay and nothing I will just go on like this now to be sure I will pass pull all the cord mm -hmm. <laughs> all the cord and I will join to be sure that in one end it's joined so insert the hook into the chain and with the tail pull through the chain the two chains actually Oop. 
Oops. Like this. One. Okay. It must be easy. Come on. Okay. Again. Can we just do it? Yes, we can. Now. Okay. So now I am sure that of at one end it's secure and I can go on and wave the next cord the remaining part okay and that's it you just have to go on and wave all your scarf and this And it is that easy. Okay. So now I will finish to wave in all my remaining columns here. And then I will be back to show you how to decorate your scarf. Actually, maybe I will show you now. So we will be ready to decorate it. I think it's a really, really easy idea, but nice. And as you can see, you can make a beautiful set. a headband and a scarf with the same stitch with the same pattern here we are at the end okay now with the tail I will just make the same thing do the same thing here okay just insert the hook like this and make a chain to secure. Okay. So this is what we have so far. And I want to put in my on my two ends of the scarf something like this. It's something that I came up with a decoration that I really like and I will show you how to make it really really easy you need a Irish rose and for the Irish rose you will work like this I'm sure you know how to work an Irish rose as you know how to work a crochet fillet but as I just show you briefly so the the magic loop, chain 3 and 11 more double crochets around the magic loop. Finished my working worked my working why my uh, 12 double crochets. So 12 with the chain 3, beginning chain 3, insert the hook into the third chain slip stitch to join now, chain 1 and then chain 3 skip one stitch into the next single crochet chain 3 skip one stitch into the next single crochet, go on 
until the end of this round. To finish, work the last chain 3 and insert your hook into the first chain 1 that you made. And slip stitch of course. Now, at the end of the second row you'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 chain 3 spaces. Now into these 6 chain 3 spaces insert the hook into the first one, slip stitch and let's work our first um, petal. So single crochet, half double crochet, three double crochets, one, two, three. Then again half double crochet. Skip into the next chain three with a single crochet and go on with a half double crochet, three double crochets, Oops, three. And one half double crochet. Skip into the next with a double with a single crochet, sorry. And then half double, three doubles, half double. And so on until the end of this first row of petals. So I completed all my petals. And now insert the hook into the first single crochet that you worked into the first petal, into the first chain 3 space, slip stitch and I will cut the yarn because I want to change color. Now for the first round of petals we will work like this, slip knot to begin. Now insert the hook under the first randomly one of your petals and around the single crochet here around and you will go back under the next petal on the back side. Now work a slip stitch to begin and five, three, four, five, chain five. Then again on the back side around the single crochet, one slip stitch, then again chain five, three, four, five, and go on around the single crochet, slip stitch, go on to create six chain five spaces. I am working my last chain five space, one, two, three, four, five, and now I have to insert my hook here where I joined the yarn and slip stitch. Now slip stitch around the first chain 5 space. Sorry. Actually not slip stitch but single crochet. Then half double crochet again. Then Work like this, two double crochets, two triple crochets, so for the triple crochet just yarn over twice, again two double crochets and one half double crochet, one, two double crochets and one half double crochet. to finish the first petal. Now skip into the next chain 5 space with a single crochet and work the next petal with one half double crochet, two double crochets, two triple crochets, Again two double crochets and one half double crochet. To skip work a single crochet. Go on like this to the end of this second row of petals. So I'm at the end. I will insert my hook into that single crochet for a single crochet worked. Slip stitch to join, cut your yarn and this is 
the Irish rose that we need for uh, our our uh, decoration and we need these tassels so for the tassel really really easy I have two here and I need one more really really easy so it it is all easy but I don't know put them together I think it's it creates a nice effect you have to chain 30 3 Four, five. Now I have my chain of 30. Yarn over, skip the first chain into the second. Insert your hook and work eight double crochets. Eight, two, three, four, five, six. As you can see, I hold here my finger on the next chain because when you work lots of double crochets or stitches into one chain, you must you 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 can uh, cannot see the next chain after you completed the work. Okay? So that's why I am keeping here. I keep here my finger. Okay? Now I have six, then seven, and eight. And this is my first shell. Now skip this chain and in one chain and into the next work a shell of eight double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and you just have to go on like this until the end skip one chain and into the next work another shell of eight double crochets one, two, three, four five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so go on and complete your shells into each of your second chain. I'm working on my last shell Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Of course, you can put seven or six, or I don't know, it's not important. And now into the last chain that we have here, we just Insert our hook if we can. <laughs> of course we can. We have to. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is my trick. If I can't with this, this is a four millimeters hook and I think it will be easier or it wouldn't. Okay, I will need another smaller hook. Or sometimes I don't know. Okay, so this is a trick that you can use when you can't just change into a smaller hook. Okay, now cut the yarn. And we have two tails here and it's okay. So now I have all my three tassels here with two tails. 
and what I want to do is to insert the hook from the back side to the right side and then pull the first tassel sorry it's not like this is from the right side to the back side and pull the tails of one tassel then the next one oh come on both of them like this and then the last one like this okay so I have all the tails here on the right side and what I want to do is to make a knot with all these tails one and another one like this as you can see as I did here so let's try to make another one Okay, now I will cut the tails at the same length and I have a little tassel here too. Now of course I will wave all the tails here and we are ready with our two decoration for the ends of our scarf. I finished my scarf to wave it all. Here it is and I put the decoration at one end. Here it is how it looks. Now I want to show you how, how to put it at so how to put the decoration so now with this I began here we just have to knot it like this make three knots just to be sure that it's all secure and go on with them and three. Then cut the tails, the remaining tails. Now I have only three so I will make a tricky thing like this and now with this one I will knot the last. Okay. And with this part we are ready, this step. Okay, now I need a little bit of red yarn and the needle. And I will go on and work like this. Let a little bit of tail here and go on and sew it 
like this. Okay. I'm almost ready. Yes, I'm ready. Now I have these two ends and I want to make a thing like this and to knot it. Well. And tight. Okay, I will cut one tail and one I want to, with the other one, I want to sew my decoration that I prepare here. So I need my needle again. And the decoration, I will put it here, like, oops, like this, and I am ready to sew it. I will insert the hook here, somewhere, and now I just have to sew it well. Like this. And here too. You just have to sew it for good. Okay, now that I'm ready, I will make some knots to be sure that will not fall apart. And I am ready with my scarf. So, here it is. My scarf ready to be wear. something like this so hope you enjoy this project of mine and uh, nothing see you at the next tutorial I have my headband too see you at the next tutorial